Sometimes I think I shouldn't be allowed out unsupervised. What do you mean? That's what she said. You're filming again, aren't you? Oh dear. Hi guys, welcome back to Gunpro's Workshop. I went out for some bread and milk today. Guess where? Yep. I'd seen that this had come up last week on Thursday, I think. The Parkside Bench Grinder with Belt Sander. Belt Sander. PSBS 240C2. And when I went in today, most of them had gone. But this poor little fella was the last puppy left in the toy shop. So I had to have it. So I'm going to go unbox it and let you have a look. These come up every so often. In fact, the more I lock into them, there seems to be about half a dozen different Parkside versions of belt sander, disc grinder, all sorts. But I picked up this one. Now I moan about it because I moan about everything. But really, I've been looking out for one of these. In fact, I might get another. But it'll have to be in a different colour because you know I don't want to get a reputation for buying everything. Just because it's blue. Can you see that? That's, that's number one grinder. This is number two. And I've got lots of attachments for the, for the little blue silver line. But as usual, I'm the double disc belt sanders, uh, double disc bench grinders, it's such a faff to change them out. And it's not only the midline that's been leading me astray the past couple of months, it's a couple of you guys, isn't it? You know who you are. Uh, two restorations. So, as well as sanding, I want to do a bit of uh, grinding and polishing. The, the extra attachments I've got are the extra spindles for the polishing wheels. So I want to have a setup uh, that will allow me to just walk up and do any combination I need to, rather than having to sit down and have half an hour changing the discs and wheels. Uh, I possibly look for an orange one. I know it sounds mad, but I have a little soft spot for three little robot drones from, do you remember the old booster and sci-fi from Silent Running? And there were three little drone robots in blue, green and orange. Uh, Huey, Louie and Dewey from Silent Running. And I fancy a row of them and I'll call them one, two, three, Huey, Louie and Dewey. And then I've got all six variations. If any of you, <laughs> they're guys that you quite often see in the comments that I talk to, they've been leading me astray with a uh, little connecting head on. Now I'm fighting it, but I, I've got a wall there that I fancy a wall of three, maybe the bigger disc and belt sander I could just walk up to. So I'll open this. What I want advice from the tool restoration guys, I want to keep the belt sander on this one as a linisher, but what combination of polishing wheels, fibre discs and grinders in the, the various grades and would a nice row of six cover all eventualities. See, there's nothing in my madness of putting you to work with some homework. But, let's get on with unpacking this. Here we go. In my pockets. Ta-da! For once, something's where it's supposed to be. I wonder how long that'll last. Let's do an unboxing. Ooh. Right. First out. See that. So that looks like a couple of a couple of brackets and some red knobs and some bolts. Lord knows what those are for. 
Oh. And then there's a pop door open. So you can see. Yeah. That's the safety visor, which with my cacons will probably last two minutes. But anyway, it's there. A little A5 instruction book. I need to get a little A5 box file for all these and have them on the shelf because they're all tucked away in a cabinet somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, do a bit of editing and I'll show, well, actually I'll show you without taking it out. So there we go, the green body, grounding wheel on the left, the belt sander on the right. It comes with, well there's a belt sander on and these spares are in 80 grit and 120 grit. Bad. So I shall pull slowly out. Oh, that's quite a little chunky monkey. Let me just So, going over the specs, uh, six inch wheel, a 150mm, 20mm thickness, and it's a granulation of 36. The belt, 50 by 686mm, it comes with 80 and 120 grit belt, 15 meters a second, the whole thing weighs just over 7 kilograms. Uh, apparently, sorry, and the sound 84 and a half decibels, not under load, going up to 97 and a half decibels under load. That's a bit loud, so it's definitely earpieces. The power rating 230 volt 50 hertz. Idle power consumption 190 watts, which goes up to the 240 watts under load, presumably when you when the grinding wheel and it has an S2 of 30 minutes, so it's not for continuous running, it's just for small jobs. Then you turn it off and let the grinding wheel, especially temperature, come down to within two degrees of ambient. The uh, idling speed is just under 3000 rpm. 2980. All in all, not a bad little piece of equipment. I'm chuffed with it. And as I say, two restoration guys, if I keep the belt and get another dual wheel grinder, what sort of range of wheels should I put on for sharpening chisels, for taking rust off? tools and polishing them and doing a bit of sanding not only on this but perhaps on the bobbin for the intarsia so a bit of homework for you thanks for this i'll call that a day i think very nice got two and i'm looking for a creamy orange one so i can play robots and call them huey louis and dewey okay i'm off for the 13 a p you crack on and I'll catch you in the next video.